guys, it is April from Getting Hugo With It. Today I have a horror slash thriller haul. I went shopping. Some of the books that I picked up are from library sales and others were from chapters. Let us get right into it. <music> was Night Film by Marissa Peschel. Now I've read this before and really loved it so I was really excited to have a copy of my own. This was on super sale at Chapters and I just had to. So this follows the story of a woman who is found dead and the police have decided that you know it's it's a suicide but a reporter who had been following um, this story thinks that it's actually um, the father of this woman. So this woman's father is a horror film director and he creates like very graphic horror films and they're not even on the main market so they have been kind of banned from theaters but there's this underground like cult following and so this reporter thinks that her father, this horror director, had something to do with it. I really loved that book, so I'm so happy to have that on my shelves uh, finally. I'd never actually had the hard copy because I listened to this on audiobook, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Inside you get all sorts of extra pictures and stuff, so I'm so very happy to have that on my shelf. Next I got Second Life from S.J. Watson. He wrote Before I Go to Sleep. Now I've never read that, but everyone has raved about that. I've seen the movie, so that's probably ruined it all for me. But this book sounded so interesting. Just in the front cover it says, she loves her husband, she's obsessed by a stranger, she's a devoted mother, she's prepared to lose everything, she knows what she's doing. She's out of control, she's innocent, she's guilty as sin, she's living two lives. She may lose both. It just sounds so good. I love a good thriller, so I'm hoping that that one's gonna be good. Next, I picked up The Silence. This was recommended to me by Jenna from Jen the Librarian. Um, so I picked this up, I saw it on sale, and I knew I had to get it. This book follows a world where there are these blind creatures that hunt by sound. And it's a world where even the tiniest sound that you make could get you killed. And it follows a deaf girl in this world. It sounds really great. It sounds a lot like Bird Box, but like obviously kind of flipped a little bit. So I'm very much looking forward to reading that. Next, I picked up Dean Kuntz's Intensity. Now, this is a book that Katie over at Chapter Stacks has said is amazing. So I've been on the lookout to find this. Sadly, I could only find it in mass paperback. I don't like that size of book, but I can't really help it, and I'm just glad I found it. It follows a girl named China, I think, and this like murderous psychopath comes into her home one evening and kills everyone and I think he takes her and she survives all of this and she's able to escape and she finds out who this guy's next victim is going to be and so she basically goes to try and help. I've also never read Dean Koontz before and I've heard a lot of his stuff is hit and miss but this is a hit so I'm very excited about that one. I also picked up Alice Hoffman's The Probable Future. This seems to be a bit magical realism meets mystery. So it says, women of the Sparrow family have unusual gifts. Eleanor can detect falsehood. Her daughter, Jenny, can see people's dreams when they sleep. Granddaughter Stella has a mental window on the future, a future that she might not want to see. It just sounded really interesting and I saw it at the library um, at a library book sale. It reminded me a little bit of House of Spirits, which I really enjoyed. So I'm hoping that that one is good. I was also able to pick up The Winter People. I really loved this book. I've already read it, but I wanted to have it on my shelves because it's so good. Um, this follows kind of two storylines. One storyline is a girl who lives with her sister and her mom, and her mom just goes missing one day. She lives in the same house as a woman who like a hundred years earlier or something. Um, that woman was killed and was found 
in like the backyard of this house and so she is struggling with her mom being missing and she f happens upon the diary of the woman from long ago who was found dead and she starts to think that there might be some some links here and there it's a really wonderful book next I picked up the weight of blood this is about a little town where women seem to go missing and um, one girl's mother went missing and then her best friend or one of her friends also goes missing so she wants to find out why these girls are going missing I've heard some good things about this so I'm I kind of took a chance on this one and I'm hoping that it pays off it says on the cover that Karen Slaughter really liked it and I really like Karen Slaughter so fingers crossed next I got the dinner I have read the dinner before I love the dinner the entire book happens in one sitting at one dinner where two couples get together uh, the two men in these couples are brothers and they hate each other and they're there to discuss what their sons have done this is definitely a book for someone who doesn't mind unlikable characters if you like a villain and you like to get into the mind of a villain this is a great one to read I also picked up Gillian Flynn's uh, sharp objects this is my absolute favorite Gillian Flynn I'm so happy to have this on my shelf this follows a girl who has to go back to her hometown because she's a reporter and there are girls being murdered in her hometown and these girls aren't just being murdered they're being strangled and then this person is taking out all of their teeth which is really gruesome so she goes back to investigate what is going on and there are all sorts of other layers going on in this in this life of hers because she doesn't get along with her mom very well she has a half sister that she doesn't know well either so she's kind of getting to know her half sister it is gritty and gruesome and so good favorite Gillian Flynn for sure I also picked up the silent wife by ASA Harrison this was a huge book and I'm, I'm very happy that it was a uh, bestseller because this woman um, this was her debut it sounded like she was only able to write one book um, but this follows the storyline of uh, a marriage in trouble and it's alternate voices so some of the chapters you're reading from from the man's point of view and some of the chapters you're reading from the woman's point of view it sounds like the marriage is just going downhill and I think there is a very treacherous ending so this is a really fun thriller that I've been meaning to read for a long time so I'm happy that that's on my shelf for sure I also picked up the coma now I only actually picked this up because this author Alex Garland also wrote uh, the beach and 28 days later I've not read either of those but I really enjoyed the movies so this follows a man who wakes up from a coma he's been like horribly beaten and he wakes up from a coma and everything in his life is just not the way he remembered it being like suddenly he's having an affair with a secretary and just things are slightly out of whack and he starts to wonder whether or not he's actually out of the coma or not it sounds kind of like a psychological thriller slash horror so I'm I think it should be good let me know what thrillers or horrors that you've read recently that you've really liked I'm always looking for more um, scary books to read, so let me know, and I hope this finds you well. I will see you next time. Bye!